Hello everyone and welcome to the next session on integers. This is the fourth session on integers and today in this session we will be learning how to add the integers. To know that we will start with the number line. And then we will actually give how this number line will help in making us learn the addition of integers. So you can see here we have a number line which are with the numbers. Let's say we have a reference for us as 0. Then we have numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. And backward to the 0 we already learned that we have numbers, negative numbers. So we represent here minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and so on. So let's see how these numbers will help us or this number line help us in addition of the integers. To start with, <coughs> let me say that we have to add the number 2 and the number 4. So you would say that this is very small job like you already are aware how to add two numbers or two positive numbers in a finer sense. So if you have a number 2 and number 4 what exactly you have to do? As this is an addition you would from position of a 4 you have to add 2 to 4. So let's say you are at the 4th position then you have to count 2 more to it. Or in other sense, you can even say that I am adding 4 to the number 2. So let me say that I am at number 2 here and I want to add 4 to it. So I have to move in forward direction. That is the rule. When there is a positive thing, when there is an addition, I am moving in a forward direction. That is in a right hand direction. And where there is a negative thing or there is a subtraction, I have to move in a backward direction or a left hand side direction. So here I can directly say that I have to add 4 to the position of 2. So I am at the position 2. Let me add 4 to it. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So actually I am at the number 6 now. I have added 4 to the number 2. So I am at the position 6 now. So this was very simple. You already were aware of how to add two positive numbers. Now the question is how to add the negative numbers. The same rule applies to the negative numbers also. So let me say that I am at the number 2 and I want to add 4 to it. But this number 2 is not number 2. It is actually negative 2 or minus 2. So I am at the position here and I want to add 4 to it. So what is the rule? In the right hand direction, I have to move by 4. So 1, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. So here I will be reaching at the 2. So what I have done is, I have started from the position 2, sorry minus 2 and then I have added 4 to it. Why I have added 4 to it? Because this is an addition and this is a positive number. So I have added 4 to it. That means I have to move in a right hand direction, in a forward direction by 4 position. So 1, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. So I reach at the position 2. So minus 2 plus 4 gives me 2. <coughs> Let us take one more example here. That I am at minus 2. I want to add... 3 to it. What am I going to get? Let's say I am at minus 2. As if this is a positive number, I will be reaching at minus 1, 0 and 1. So with this, we already reinforce that if it is a positive number and we are adding to any number, negative number or a positive number, we have to move in a forward direction. Now, let's take one more example that we have a number 2. And I want to subtract 
a number from it. So what am I going to get here? I have to move backward to this. Backward why? Because this is a negative number. This is a negative number. Or you, in other words, you can see that as I have a minus sign, I have to move in a right, left hand side direction. So from 2, I have to move 1 to the left hand direction and I got the number 1. This can be represented in other way as this. This is one of the property where what you are trying to do is you are trying to add a negative number to a number and you get a number. That means you are moving backward direction. So can I say that if there is a negative number and I am adding that number to a number, then in that case I have to move a backward direction. So let's take one more example here. We have a number 3 here and I am adding a number minus 2 to the 3. So what am I going to do? I have at the 3, I have to go in a backward direction, in a reverse direction, in a left hand side direction. So I go here 1, 2. So negative means I am going in left hand side direction with 2. So I get a number 1 here. Is this clear to you? Okay. To move forward in this only, we have a negative number. Instead of this number, let's just take there is a number minus 3. And to that, I am adding a negative number, minus 2. So let's say what happens to this. I am at this position that is minus 3 and I have to add a negative number to it. To add a negative number, what I have to do? The only thing I have to do is I have to move by that number in left hand side direction. So let me move here by 1, 2 as I have to move by 2. So I reached at position minus 5. So this clearly explains to you that when I am adding a negative number to any number, I have to move in a left hand side direction. This is the left hand side direction, a backward direction. And when I am adding a positive number to any number, I have to move in a right hand side direction that is a positive direction or a forward direction. I hope this is clear to you. Let me explain you a simple rule or a simple corollary for it so that you can apply in your exam that if I have a positive number and I am adding a positive number, I am always getting a positive number. Take us this example only. I have a positive number 2 and I am adding a positive number 4. So I will always get a positive number. That is a 6. Then let me see a second example. If I have a negative number and I am going and adding a negative number, I will always get a negative number. Is this two corollary clear to you? If I have a negative number minus 3 and I am adding a minus 2 that is also a negative number, I will always get a negative number. I hope this is clear. Now the second corollary is something like this. Let me say that I have a negative number. Let's say the example of this minus 2 and I am adding a positive number to it. 4 is here a positive number. What will I get? I will get a number through a subtraction, not through a addition. Because what exactly it is happening is, this you can say it is 4 minus 2, plus 4 minus 2, which gives you 2. So actually it is a subtraction happening. So there will be a subtraction and the sign would be that of a bigger number. As in this case, 4 is a bigger number, though there is a subtraction happening, but what exactly you are getting is plus 2, that is a positive number. Why? Because 4 is a positive number. If it would have been ulta, something like this, 2 minus 
4 then what exactly you would have been you would have been at position 2 and you have to move backward by minus 4 so 1 2 3 and 4 you would have reached minus 2 so you can see that as this is a bigger number and it has a negative sign you are actually reaching to a negative number so negative number when added to a positive number a subtraction happens and the sign always occurs of a bigger number whatever is the bigger number here also as they are with the two different signs a subtraction is occurring actually not an addition here you see 4 plus 2 actually the number is increasing value is increasing and it's becoming 6 but here the value is decreasing we actually are doing 4 minus 2 or minus 4 plus 2 or 2 minus 4 so actually 